Hello and welcome. Usually, the first step to solving logarithmic equations involving logarithms of different bases is to apply the change of base formula to make sure that all the logarithms are in the same base. But in this case, the change of base formula is not going to simplify this equation because added to some other factors, these two log terms are in unrelated bases. Now, one way to solve this equation is to assume that x is equal to 2 to the power d. Now, you may ask why. Notice that with this substitution, this term is now going to be log to base 2 of 2 to the power d. And of course, you know that log to base 2 of 2 to the power d is equal to d. So with this substitution, you have eliminated the log in this term. So we have log to base 3 of 2 to the power d plus 1 plus d is equal to 5. Now let us subtract d from both sides of this equation. When we do that, the equation becomes log to base 3 of 2 to the power d plus 1 is equal to 5 minus d. And of course, remember that when you have a statement such as log to base a of b is equal to c, we can also write this as a to the power c is equal to b. That is, b is equal to a to the power c. So in this case, we have that 3 to the power 5 minus d is equal to 2 to the power d plus 1. Now, to simplify this equation, let us multiply both sides of this equation by 3 to the power d. Now, here we have 3 to the power 5 minus d multiplied by 3 to the power d. And of course, you know that when two numbers with the same base multiply themselves, we simply add the exponents. So this is going to be equal to 3 to the power 5 minus d plus d. Minus d plus d is equal to 0. So on the left hand side, we have 3 to the power 5. And this is equal to 3 to the power d multiplied by 2 to the power d plus 1. Now let us look at this equation. From this equation, we have that d must be greater than 0 but less than 5. So let us test some values of d to see if we can find which value satisfies this equation. When d is equal to 1, the right hand side of this equation is 3 to the power 1 times 2 plus 1. This is 3 times 3, which is 9. 9 is 3 squared, so it's not equal to 3 to the power 5. When d is equal to 2, we have 3 squared times 2 squared plus 1. This is 3 squared times 2 squared is 4 plus 1, 5. This is 9 times 5, which is 45. 45 is not equal to 3 to the power 5. Now, when d is equal to 3, we have 3 cubed multiplied by 2 cubed plus 1. Now, 2 cubed is 8 plus 1, 9. 9 is 3 squared. So this is equal to 3 cubed multiplied by 3 squared. And of course, this is equal to 3 to the power 3 plus 2, which is 5. So we have that the value of d that satisfies this equation is d equal to 3. Now notice that the right hand side of this equation is monotonically increasing. So it will only meet the value 3 to the power 5 once at the point d equal to 3. So this is the only value of d that satisfies this equation. And of course, to find the value of x, we have that x is equal to 2 to the power 3, which is equal to 8. So 8 is the only value of x that satisfies this logarithmic equation. And of course, when we substitute x equal to 8 into this equation, we have log to base 3 of 8 plus 1 plus log to base 2 of 8. This is log to base 3 of 9 plus log to base 2 of 8. 9 is 3 squared and 8 is 2 
cube. And of course, log to base 3 of 3 squared is equal to 2. And log to base 2 of 2 cubed is equal to 3. And 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.